Hey everyone, it's Jeff and Randy the Research Rat with PeptideCritic.com and today we're going to do a video on the basics of pens. Uh, we've been getting emails with questions we didn't think needed to be answered, but apparently they do. Uh, one of the first questions we got was, why didn't my pen include the uh, plastic that uh, the cartridge goes into and you need to send me one immediately. And if, obviously if you forgot something, we're going to send it to you immediately. In fact, we'll do two day shipping or overnight. But we didn't forget anything. I asked him to send me a photo and the photo was that. So I told him to screw it back together and pull it apart. Uh, this has happened multiple times and, and you just pull the cap off. We got it again yesterday. The gentleman yesterday, super nice. So uh, if you're watching this, we're good, bro. Uh, the other question we've gotten, and I actually understand this one, is you get your pen, and uh, first off, if it's sticking out, if your plunger is sticking out, just push it in. It just threads in on its own. Um, but it was, okay, I got my pen, cool. Wait, it doesn't work. Oh my gosh, it doesn't work. I'm not gonna put a cartridge in here and, and risk wasting any peptide. The deal is, unless it's loaded, it's not going to work. So there needs to be pressure against this in order for the uh, mechanism to engage and for it to start pushing. Uh, to load it, again, it's extremely simple. Take your pen apart, you take a cartridge. When you first try and engage the threads and the reason they are so big is it's gonna be hard. And you're actually, you might actually have to push to get the threads to engage and then they go and then you screw it on and you're good. And it's loaded, you prime it, choose how many units you want, and you're great. Another question we got, which I guess is, is, is a bit of confusion. Um, the, these, this only goes to 60 units, so is 60 units on this the same as uh, 100 units on a syringe? No, no, a, a unit is a unit. A unit is a uh, unit of measurement, but there's 100 units in a milliliter. So, I don't know, that was another one. Um, beyond that, there's other styles of pens. We have the uh, V3, it's the same as the V2. Plastic on the end is a little different, mechanism is the same, and it has a pen style cap. It's a little bit longer. Some people prefer that, but in essence, if you're like, oh my God, I need the V3, it's better. It's, it's not, it's just a different cap. Uh, then we have our, our travel uh, pen. It comes with, this is uh, the purple one, it comes with a blue case. It's just how they do it. I actually think it's a, a cool color scheme. Uh, and what's cool is uh, it can hold an extra cartridge if you want, but then it'll hold uh, three needles. And what's cool about this one is uh, it's a different style. So it, when it comes apart, there, there are these channels here. It is technically threaded, but it is just super abrupt. So you just get it lined up, push in, and then click. And that is a similar style to uh, the V1. The difference is it is much more in there. The problem people would have with the V1 is they'll be hanging on here. Actually, I'll show you. This pen doesn't have that problem. Let me reiterate that. And it really isn't a problem, so much so that I'm using V1s. Uh, so with the V1, it's the same style. Put a cartridge in here. So just goes in and it clicks. Now it's not nearly as tight. So if you're undoing your needle, you can actually take the pen apart. So that's kind of the problem people have had. Is it really a problem? No, you just grip it right here. And I would hold it right here anyways when I'm screwing on and off a needle. But like, yeah, it's, it clicks in. That's the that's why they went to the V2 style where it screws on. Um, the thing about the V1s though, and the reason we're adding them to the store is they push 80 units, which is really nice. The mechanism feels really nice. It always has. It's more tactile. Um, one thing you'll notice about other pens is they don't really feel like nice and tactile until there's uh, resistance against them. This one does without it. It's almost like a fidget toy. I wouldn't do that though. Um, and uh, you know, some people like the pen cap. The one, the one place I would warn people about the V1s, uh, I mean, going into it knowing when you put your needle on and off, just hold it here so you you're just doesn't come apart. It's annoying because then you have to prime it again. Uh, it's the length. Now, we have a V1, a V2, sorry, a V2, V3, and then we have our travel friendly, 
And so those are, you know, those are the, these two are relatively the same length. The V2 is a little shorter. Here's the V1. It's much longer. And where that could be an issue is those canister style uh, travel cases that uh, you see people use uh, that, uh, you know, put an ice pack in them. These actually don't fit in most of them to the point where you have to take the cap off, which, you know, then your, uh, your stopper is exposed and, you know, you have to make sure that stays clean. Uh, the, uh, these ones do. This one, if I'm using that canister style, I have to take it off. The good news is we actually have these freezer packs. So the freezer pack is cool because, you know, it will fit the V1s. It'll also fit a V2 and then a V3 and a V2, and you're good. And if you really want to get crazy, you can really just shove them all in there and go. And I've done that. Thanks. But... You know, there's four pens in there. Should you do that? Probably not. But three's definitely not a problem. Four can be done. But the uh, V1 fits. And especially with some of the offerings on Amazon, the V1 does not fit. So, uh, yeah. But that's just a breakdown of pens and how they work. Uh, we've recently added a community form for people to ask questions, talk about protocols, dosing, etc. cetera. Uh, that's all fair game there. But uh, if you have any questions, you can email us or you can post it on the form. I'm actually gonna be quicker to respond on there than I am uh, via email. And uh, as always, happy researching from Jeff and Randy the Research Rat with peptidecritic.com.